What is your favorite time of the year to go on a date? Most people probably say the summertime because everyone wants to get naked, but to me it's the fall. <laughs> I, I think it's fall. I mean, it's cuffing season for a reason, right? Like <laughs> Summer, if we're not going like to an air-conditioned place or swimming and I'm just like drenched in sweat and they're drenched in sweat, I don't feel like that's good first date material. For as long as humans can remember, the environment has always impacted who we want to keep in our lives. But now with climate change, dating and mating have never been hotter. And that's not always a good thing. As our planet warms to unthinkable temperatures, some animals, and even people, are forced to rethink dating habits they've been using for generations in order to beat the heat. Many animals mate with whomever has the grandest features, a possible sign of good fitness or health. This sexual selection has been a big driver in how some species evolve as a whole. For example, a female peacock may choose the mate with the largest, most colorful plumage, and as a result, these flashier males get more opportunities to pass down their genetics. Enter climate change, which is mixing long-standing mating preferences with new survival challenges. In horned animals, like cows and goats, females typically prefer males with the largest horns. Larger horns also help males manage their body heat more effectively and keep them cool during warmer seasons, which will come in handy as global temperatures rise. So in this case, climate change is reinforcing a female's preference for larger horns. But sometimes climate change is at odds with sexual selection. Female dragonflies typically prefer males who flash their wings with deep, robust colors. But those dark, seductive shades also absorb heat, warming up the insect by as much as 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and that just drains too much energy in today's climate. Researchers have found that in recent decades, males have been losing the bling in their wings to better survive warmer temperatures, even if it disappoints the ladies. Take the fruit fly. Females typically choose only one male, but male fruit flies have a harder time producing healthy sperm in higher temperatures. As a result, female fruit flies have adapted, increasing their number of mates in warmer environments as shown in lab studies. It's tough to tell how a warming planet will impact how we, humans, choose our mates. But there is some evidence that may show our dating and mating has already changed. One study showed that on days when it hit above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the birth rate decreased by 0.4% eight to 10 months later. Our sex lives were literally too hot to handle. And OkCupid okay data showed that young daters who said that they are more concerned with climate change got more matches and likes. We decided to take to the streets to see how climate and weather are impacting the dating lives of whoever would talk to me. He is a 10, but he doesn't believe in climate change. Oh, zero, negative, like five. <laughs> They would just be a stupid 10. <laughs> oh gosh, that is rough. Probably a four, actually. At least a four, and then I'd like to hear some reasons on that. There are two, but they compost. Composting is cool. My roommate just got into to composting, and I, she's been teaching me a little bit about that. Do you want to date your roommate? I do not, <laughs> no. Yeah. He is a two, but he composts. Still a two? <laughs> I don't think it's that. Mm, there might be a one. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, climate change is disrupting how males and females have traditionally chosen their mates. The environment has always impacted mating and sexual selection, but rapidly rising temperatures are pushing animals to adapt faster than ever before in modern history. And that includes their pickup techniques. Will animals be able to adapt and adapt fast enough to beat the heat? Only time will tell.